Many men were involved in the 1916 Eastern Rising. There's Patrick Pierce and James Connolly, just to name a few. All the leaders were having breakfast together. James Connolly, Patrick Pierce, and Thomas Clark were talking. Pierce and McDermott said they wanted to delay the rising, but Thomas Clark didn't agree. He said he wanted to have it on Easter Sunday as planned. Ireland was a very different place at this time. With low resources, they went on anyway. They were ready to take on the British. The men charged the GPO. They passed by British soldiers, who couldn't help but smile at the men playing soldiers. Actually, they charged the GPO. When they got in, the people who were in there refused. But panic soon spread as the men began to shoot their guns. Eventually, they fortified and set up camp in the GPO. And they put up the Irish Republic flag. They made different plans to fortify the GPO. Then Patrick Pierce went outside and he read the proclamation. Then British troops began to advance on the GPO. And they started firing at them. Boys off the street got supplies for them. And eventually, the British started fighting back. The fighting went on for days and days. Many men died, but many men survived. People were getting injured as they captured more and more locations. On the sea, people heard about the war. It began to go everywhere in the world, even to New York. Which then used the Helga to destroy multiple buildings that the rebels were hiding in. The rebels were losing. Men volunteered, but they eventually saw that it wasn't very good. Then Connolly got shot in the leg. It wasn't looking good. The rebels were beginning to lose hope. Then Pierce looked out the window to see the British killing innocent families. Eventually they had no choice but to surrender. Eventually they were brought to Kilmainham jail where each and every one of the leaders were executed. That is the entire story of the 1916 Eastern Rising. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. 101 years ago, that happened. It's very proud to be an Irish Republican. Yay. But anyway, guys, please subscribe, like, and comment. And by the way, those pictures, just saying, was from the book Blood Upon the Rose, Easter 1916, published by O'Brien's Press. Just saying, they're none of my pictures. That's the book it was from. Here's the book right here. Here it is. It's a fantastic book. If you find it in any shop, I highly, highly recommend you get it. It's a fantastic book. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.